Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is February 1st, which means that it is time to do my January favorites for the month. All of these items are going to be beauty items and a couple different like TV shows, general items, but those will be towards the end. Okay guys, jumping right into it. My first monthly favorite for January was the ColourPop sculpting stick in the shade Easy Peasy. And the reason I liked these was because I'd never used a cream contour before, but I didn't want to have like just a giant palette and have the problem of me figuring out what type of brush to use and all of that. So I just decided to get a sculpting stick from ColourPop. Once I found out that they actually like had contouring sticks, I like freaked out because I love ColourPop and it just made it even better for me that this company had them. Unfortunately, now they are being discontinued. I was hoping that they'd repackage them, but my luck, probably not. So I just bought a bunch more. The reason I like this color is because I have a hard time finding a contour color that works well with my skin. Warmer tones don't really work too well, and cooler tones can come off almost like gray on my skin sometimes. And since I have a neutral skin tone, it worked better to get this kind of color, which is a mid-tone brown. And Easy Peasy is the next darkest shade from their first one. Um, so it is basically meant, I would say, probably for fair to medium skin. It looks like that. It's a matte contour because I wouldn't want to do any like shimmery bronze stuff on my face, especially in the winter time. I really, really liked that ColourPop made a very nicely set up description of each color. They said right on the website if it was cool toned, mid toned, deep, warm, all of that. And that made it really, really easy online to pick out what color would best suit me. I also like the fact that you get to draw on your face. It's like, you know, just like taking a marker to your cheekbones there, but uh, it's a lot of fun and it's pretty easy to blend out. I haven't experienced as much patchiness or muddiness since I switched to a cream contour versus the powder contour that I used to use. So yeah, this was really inexpensive too. I believe it was either five or six dollars. So to me, that was like totally worth it. And then once they went on sale, they were only four dollars. So I was like, score. I guess my problem is though is that they are being discontinued, but the good news is I just got another one and this has a ton of product in it. This will last me like literally forever, so I think I'll be good until I can find my next fix. My next favorite thing, and oh my gosh guys, I am absolutely freaking in love with this palette. I would never bought one of the Too Faced 9 Pan palettes before, and I am so glad that I bought this one. It is the Too Faced Peanut Butter and Jelly palette, and oh my god is this cute. Look at this, look at these beautiful PB&J colors, and the packaging is absolutely adorable. I have never seen such adorable packaging. It smells wonderful, it smells like, kind of like peanut butter chocolate, kind of like a Reese's cup, and I just absolutely love this. I'm wearing it on my eyelids today. I have jelly and nuts about you with bananas in the corner, and it is absolutely gorgeous. I have never had an eyeshadow that went on so smoothly, like it was super creamy. I absolutely adore the idea that this is so small too, like this is a good size, like it's about the size of my entire hand. And that makes it really convenient because it doesn't take up that much space in my makeup stuff because like oh, I, got, I got limited space girl, you know? So I wanted to make sure that I had something that would fit in there and this definitely fits the bill. I would recommend this to pretty much anyone because it is that adorable and the shadows work that well. My favorite ones in this palette altogether would be Jelly, Nuts About You, Bananas, and Jammin'. I haven't got to try a peanut butter cup yet, but I'm really excited about that. Um, mostly when I do this, I try to use the purple and the browns because I think they really go together well. It's kind of like one of those unexpected combos, but I will be trying some more neutral looks with this. The shadows are just so pigmented and creamy, they go right on. Like I had no problems getting this purple on my eyelids and purple is a very hard color to formulate so kudos to Too Faced because I absolutely love this palette. Moving on, you guys already know this is my holy grail setting spray that I found. It is the Urban Decay All Nighter. They have recently repackaged this so when I repurchase it, it will look completely different. But this makes my makeup stay on all day. When they say long lasting, they mean it because I have problems with my blush and my contour fading sometimes, especially since it is so windy where I live. Dust and debris is constantly getting thrown in your face every day and it does not help your makeup. This will make it last 
all day. I'm not even kidding. Like, this is it's my holy grail, man. This is my ride or die setting spray. Next, going back to ColourPop, I've had a really good run with ColourPop this past month, and I'm going to try and continue that. This month, I have another order of ColourPop coming in. I've got two big orders in, and I'm going to be doing a massive haul for you guys, hopefully this Friday or Saturday, on everything that I've got. But this is a shadow that I got previously from ColourPop to try them out. It is in the shade Elixir. It is kind of a matte reddish brown, but it's also like a medium shade, so it's not too overbearing. I use this mainly as a transition. Yeah. I use this mainly as a transitioning shade. See, it's kind of a very orangey brown. And it just looks wonderful on your eyes for like a fall look, for an orange and red look, for a browns look. It goes with everything. I would even go dare say that it kind of reminds me about the Nuts About You color in the Too Faced palette that I just talked about because it also has kind of like that reddish brown color to it and I just love it. It goes with almost everything that I have. Also, I absolutely love ColourPop's packaging. For a brand that presents itself at drugstore prices, their packaging is pretty dope. It is super simplistic, but it also has that nice feel to it. It has the holographic lettering. It just looks like they put a lot of time and effort into designing it, and it feels super nice. It's nice and smooth, and it always opens very easily. So, woohoo, go ColourPop. Anyways, I have a bunch of different shades of their Super Shock eyeshadows, and I will be showing you guys that in our next video. Other than that, kudos to you, ColourPop. I absolutely worship your products at this point in my life. Next is going to be a couple of products from MAC Cosmetics. I absolutely fell in love in January with their um, Nutcracker Sweet collection. Now, after Christmas, this collection went on sale, and I got it in January, but the packaging on this is ridiculous ridiculous like it is so gorgeous and more than just like the box packaging the actual lipstick packaging is ridiculous like this is super super luxe in my opinion and it just feels nice and looks even better I actually had to buy like two other lipsticks when I saw that it went on sale this one I bought before they had done like the official after Christmas sale this is in the shade saucy little darling and it is one of my absolute favorite lipstick shades now. I didn't have like a pinky coral color and this kind of just filled in that gap in my lipstick collection for me. It is just this beautiful, beautiful pink. I absolutely love the consistency of these. They stay on really long. I haven't had any problems with this. I believe this is a cream sheen. No, this is actually an amplified one. My bad. Anyways. These are absolutely gorgeous. I know they still have a couple of products from the Nutcracker Suite online on their sale page called Goodbyes, and it is absolutely worth it. I feel like when I have this in like my lipstick collection, I just feel super fancy, even though this lipstick was not even like as expensive as some other companies' lipsticks are. Then, again with MAC Cosmetics, I have the strobe cream. This is a sample size, and that is because I only have sample sizes of this product. I actually had placed a couple different orders over the holidays and ended up getting like five of these, so I didn't really have a need to buy the full size yet, but when I run out, I will. This is their strobe cream. It is basically a liquid highlighter, but it is so subtle. I absolutely love it. It is just a little bit of like pearlescent sheen and I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not but it is so gorgeous this is what I wear when I want to have that natural highlight look not like fake you know super like blinded by the light kind of highlight but like a natural fresh glow and what I do is I put it all along my cheekbones and sometimes on like you know my chin my cupid's bow and it just gives you that beautiful like radiancy that I've always wanted naturally. It's not super heavy either. You barely feel it when it goes on. It's kind of just like a moisturizer, but it looks beautiful. If you're a person who likes a more bold highlight, this definitely isn't for you. But if on those days that you just kind of want to have the no makeup makeup look, this is perfect. Next, I have my Rimmel Stay Matte. This one is kind of old. I'm at the end of using this and I will be repurchasing it. This. This is the primer that I use primarily. 
Back in the beginning of January, I was having a lot of problems with oil on my face. I was just overproducing oil and I didn't know why. So I found this in like the recesses of my makeup collection and was like, oh my gosh, it's time to give this another go because I need anything at that point. I was desperate. So I tried this on the first day. I didn't do any of my regular routine. I just washed my face and put this on and oh my gosh, it saved me. I have not had oily skin since using this. It is absolutely a lifesaver. So I definitely had to put this in my favorites video. It keeps my T-zone perfect and matte, but not overly dry. And that is exactly what I needed. Plus you can't beat the price. I already love some of Rimmel's um, inventions and creations. And this just is an oldie but a goodie. Moving on to things that aren't makeup for my favorites. One of my favorites for this month has been sweaters and like long sleeve shirts. I know it's winter and that's probably like a dumb theme to have, but I feel like I usually don't wear sweaters in the winter. I just kind of like wear thin clothing and layers and try to like bear through, but this season I've been like all out sweaters. Then lastly, I would like to share with you guys one of my favorite TV shows this month. All the while, while I was home over break in January, I stayed up every night and watched Shark Tank. Like, I feel like this isn't a normal show for me to watch, but it was so interesting. I liked to see what like people could invent and come up with for company ideas. And so me and my mom would just like watch like every night, like three hours straight of Shark Tank. And it was great. I feel like I'm creative, but I'm not creative enough to like make my own company and go on TV. <laughs> So that's just like one of my random TV shows I wanted to share with you guys for my monthly favorites. Anyways guys, that is it. That's all I have for you this month. I will be diligently working on finding new things for next month that I'm always looking for new things to try. And I will have a ColourPop haul up for you guys at the end of the week. Anyways guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Please subscribe, give me a like, comment down below what some of your monthly favorites are for January. And I will see you guys later. Stay stellar guys, bye.